different buttons that we have to choose. Stay with us, you guys. <laughs> we are talking morning. about presidential window treatments. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on. I'm using a different stand here for this whole setup. <laughs> and I hope the phone will stay. And we're live on. Um, there we go. We are live on. Um, Facebook, Facebook as, well? as well. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Let me move this thing down a bit, get us situated, and maybe bring it in a little bit. How is this looking? Is this okay? Yeah, it's, it's a little, a little off kilter. I don't know. I don't know why that is. It's just <laughs> the stand is always in the same place. The, yeah. <laughs> everything and uh, and sometimes it's it's okay. Is exactly. this okay? Okay. This yep. is gonna perfect. Help you do. Yay! Sorry, and we're everybody. live. <laughs> we had a little technical difficulties on my end this morning. We're a little late. Headphones but, weren't working, but we're here. So welcome. This, Happy Friday. Right. The important part is we are here. Kim, it's wonderful to see you as always. Good to see you too, Vita. <laughs> hey, Anita. I just saw <laughs> Anita last night. We had a oh, fabulous nice. event. Yes, I have to do a quick shout out. to. Mm -hmm. We had an event called Wine, Dine, and Mastermind. Mind. So it was an invite only exclusive event for premier designers in the Philadelphia area. Oh, nice. There were five co-hosts um, with me. There were also um, Renee Schleicher from the Fabric Shield, Carolyn Mayer from Philip Jeffries, Mary Beth Brown from the Clar from Clarence House mm -hmm. and um, Heather Rebel from Stout Textiles. So the five of us co-hosted this fabulous event. Vita, you're awesome. Who's calling yeah. awesome? Thank you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, 60 plus designers were there. We haven't seen each other in forever. It was awesome to connect and reconnect. It was catered. We had open bar. We masterminded a little bit and we just we just all had a really good time. So uh, we're all pretty exhausted today, but I'm here <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> so... So what are we talking about today, Kim? We are talking about presidential window treatments. So we are going to do a deep dive in the history of the window treatments that- <laughs> Not um, deep. <laughs> no, not a deep. A deep decorative stylistic dive <laughs> on uh, the window treatments that have been installed in the Oval Office over the years. And hey, Mimi, we miss you too. Aww. So, yeah, we just thought it would be a fun topic to kind of unpack a little bit. Um, nothing serious, just, you know, having fun with it, because this past week were um, regional, local elections, right, in our own townships and uh, our own um, local governments here. So nothing on the presidential level. Perhaps we should have done this last year, but um, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Better late than ever, right? Right. All right. So we will start with the drapes that were in the Oval Office during the uh, John Kennedy's presidency. Um, you can see that they are kind of um, bluish, that colonial blue kind of coloring. And interestingly, each window is treated separately. So I was actually surprised at that because mm -hmm. I'm so used to, and later you guys will see these pictures of the, the entire wall of windows, that whole rounded wall being treated as one window in the way, or you know, thinking that that they're like all these windows are kind of um, combined together. Mm -hmm. I never realized that they were that far apart. So here these windows are treated separately and uh, they haven't been treated like that ever since. Yeah. So what's interesting is that they did the, um, you know, you have Taylor kick pleat balances, you have the tie back panels and, um, you know, each president, I believe, is allowed to pick different things in their office, the paintings, um, the desks, the rug, the window treatments, the wallpaper, I believe. Um, if you see mm -hmm. here, you see John F. Kennedy's children peeking out from underneath the desk, which is really sweet. Um, but yeah, with this, with the window treatments, I, I will tell you, I was surprised uh, when I did see this um, because that is something that naturally as a window treatment nerd um that is uh what i pay attention to to see like oh what do the window treatments look like in the white house or in any kind of government space when i am touring um you know have gone to see other spaces um 
in Washington and DC. I did study at Marymount University in Arlington, Virginia. So I was very fortunate to be a hop, skip and a jump away outside of the capital, um, you know, out of DC. And that was something that I always did pay attention to when I was there, when I toured different buildings, but like, oh, how are they treating their windows? So for sure. All right. So next we're going to jump over to President Nixon's window treatments. And here is uh, exactly what I was saying earlier. The decorator designer here treated the whole wall of windows as one. So we have no idea that there's actually walls behind this window. So I, I definitely thought it was like one big bow window. And yeah. uh, we have a really interesting cornice, or is it like a uh, hard valance there? Hard to say, mm -hmm. but we'll just call it cornice. And uh, we have beautiful, uh, uh, yellow kind of yellowish um velvet or silk you know hard to say uh but really rich color happening there and of course juxtapositioned against that uh blue rug that's the iconic presidential scene i think that we're also used to now right and what's interesting about this is unlike and i'm, I'm going to pull them up here on my computer so i can see yeah unlike the um unlike kennedy's window treatments, they opted to add a layer of shears. So now you're seeing different layers here. And th it's very interesting. You know what, I, what, I, what I'm finding interesting about this? It's seeing all the different ways in which you can treat a window differently, which is a kind of unique way to think about it. Because I know that sometimes when we're designing window treatments in our mind, we're like, we have to do it this way. But this is mm -hmm. a, a great example of, no, there's actually like five or six different ways that you can treat these three different windows. And here they opted for the heavier, thicker gold fabric that kind of mm -hmm. all tied in together together with the um, the upholstery and they pulled out the gold from the, uh, the seal there in the rug and whatnot. Um, so yeah, the window treatments definitely in this space were definitely making a statement. So um, interesting fun fact, our marketing coordinator, Stephanie, had pulled some <laughs> fun facts for us so that we can uh, uh, impart them on, on you guys. So uh, Congress apparently has always been tasked with appropriating funds for redecorating the White House. Mm -hmm. And apparently the sum is allocated for both the Oval Office and the private residences. And we have some numbers here as they kind of range through the years. So it has obviously risen over time. So mm -hmm. during the um, Adamses in 1800s, the that amount was 14,000, believe it or not, right? So in 1833, it well, was up to 20,000. Okay. Whoopsie-doo, right? <laughs> but that's still, if you think about it relative yes, to that year, that's course. a lot of money. Of course, of course. In 1925, it was raised to 50,000. And 1990s, during the Clinton era, it was raised to 100,000. So talk okay. about inflation. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. interesting fun facts here. Window uh, treatments cost more over the years. They sure do. <laughs> All right, so here we have Ronald Reagan's and Reagan Reagan's uh, um, Oval Office, and uh, yet again a whole different way of treating this um, mm -hmm. bow window. So here we have um, Kingston Valance, actually it's called, and so, which are like uh, swags, like these interesting swags in the middle with uh, little bells every so often. They're usually about every eighteen inches, of eighteen to twenty inches or so. We have side panels out of the same fabric as the Kingston Valance. And I believe, do you think those would be shears um, yeah, in the it, middle that they probably they, traverse to close and traverse to open? Yeah. So instead of uh, popping four panels like in like in the Nixon administration, what they decided to do here was really treat this as if it was one large window instead of three individual windows, like you would a big picture window or a, a bow window that the windows actually connect and put those stationary panels on the ends. And then the shears are the, um, the workhorse. And then you're seeing, we're seeing, you know, the very vibrant gold to this um, you know, very not serious red, but just more of an eloquent red that we have going on here. And it's hard to tell in the um, maybe in the Instagram and in the Facebook picture, but they did also pop trim along the bottom edge of the Kingston Valances and about six inches up from the bottom of the stationary panel. So here we're starting to see some trim, some embellishments happening in the window treatments. Um, 
unlike the previous. I love your attention to detail, Kim. Yeah. I did not see the trim. Yeah, yeah, it has <laughs> it has a little bit of trim. Now, in the previous one, the the con at the bottom, they did add contrast piping, which was really cool and mm -hmm. kind of gave it a shape. So that's another way too that when you're doing a cornice, if you don't want to add trim, if you don't want to um, add something that's a little bit um, you know, that calls too much attention to that detail. You could just always do something with this, with the same, especially if you're doing a solid, the same um, fabric, do a self well, and then they did like a double layer of a self well. Mm -hmm. Details, details. <laughs> yes. And here during the uh, George um, first uh, yeah, uh, Bush George president. H. Bush. Yep. George H.W., exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so 1990 here, um, we go back to that colonial blue. So we started mm -hmm. with that for, um, during the Kennedy administration. We went through some yellows and golds, and now we're back to, to the blue color. Which one do you like better, Kim, your personal preference, the I yellow or know. the blue? I don't know, because it's also very different. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's just all very, like, between the rugs and the upholstery and the whole thing um i i well i like how they kept the um treatment consistent because when mm -hmm. i think of the oval office i think of this type of treatment i don't know why the kingston that's what yeah. that's what speaks the oval office yeah. to you <laughs> yeah so um again this is the same exact window treatment just treated a little differently these panels here are puddling on the floor they also do have it looks like a, some type of a bullion fringe or something that's also at the where the other ones were, it was up six inches. These are right at the bottom edge. And they brought it, they um, mirrored that same detail on the valance as well. So um, I just think it's interesting how we went from, to me, this is a little, um, I like how they just have the stationary panels and the shears are the workhorse that move. Yeah. The other with the four panels just feels a little too close. Too off heavy for, for you. Me. Yeah. Interesting. For, for me, the, this color, maybe I'm not a, a big colonial blue fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it feels cold versus um, this picture with the warmer colors, um, more auburns or yellows. The yellow makes you happy. What makes me happy. And the auburns make you kind of like grounded and yeah. um, warmer. You know, you always think of like Halloween, Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> fall colors and then this is like whoa you know so sort of like a little bit cold but what's really interesting to me is how much these panels puddle on the floor mm -hmm. i mean we're yeah. not talking breaking on the floor by no. like half an inch i mean we're talking like what like good five six inches probably there yeah. don't you think so I don't know how how those cleaning ladies are able were able to vacuum that floor and redress those panels every time but kudos to them very carefully <laughs> All right, and so this is interesting. This is not a finished product, obviously, but interesting how this picture captures the installation of mm -hmm. window treatments during the um, Clinton's presidency, uh, the start of his in 1993. So you can see <laughs> all the cast of characters that it involves to do any kind of install. Uh, and another interesting thing for me here is these drapes that are in bags, they are just thrown on the floor, curled up, in the ball thrown on the floor ladies and gentlemen this is how presidential window treatments are delivered to the oval office. <laughs> here we have them on like a hanger they're in a garment like a clear bag and this is yeah just like boom <laughs> listen if it's good for the clintons i'm thinking it's good for our um well, i don't know <laughs> but you know what that actually brings up an interesting point how do you guys deliver your window treatments they're on like, the do, you, do you right and so but do you like lay them on the floor while you're install um yeah hardware or whatever or do you billy, put them on the furniture what do you guys no, billy will probably lay them he lays them on the floor flat mm -hmm. but they're yeah. in the bag Right, right, right. We yeah. also have ours in the bag. Um, we also try to lay them flat. But every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, if I were a high end client, you know, paying and investing all that money into custom window treatments, would you want to see them just laying on the floor? And I mean, obviously, they're bagged and all that. Um, but then what's the alternative? What right. I heard, mm -hmm. what I heard some people they bring like one of those um, a like, rack? Uh, like like a rack, yeah, like on, on wheels. But, you know, to get that up the stairs, depending on where you well, are, and like how many stairs into the house, that seems a little... If you're in, in this city, you have to go in an elevator. Our guys already, when they go into the city, they have tool bags that are backpacks so that they have two hands oh, okay. free. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, so wow. that that way they have two hands that are free to carry product. And then if you think about it, does someone really want wheels? on their house on their floor <laughs> yeah so there is like you know this is not working that's like you know you just yeah. kind of pick the uh, least of the two evils devils evils yeah. whatever. <laughs> so so okay so back to the window treatment so they were still sticking with the kingston so yeah. we had we had kingston for um george h w bush and that we had kingston for president reagan and this is our third kingston for the clintons yeah. i never realized how consistent these three presidencies were <laughs> in their window maybe treatments. that's why in my mind i've always a Attributed this valance to the Oval Office. Okay. Okay. What do you call this valance? We call it the Kingston valance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just want to make yeah. sure because you know sometimes we call the pleats different things. Sometimes yeah. the same valance is called a different thing. I thought maybe you call it the presidential valance. No. 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 <laughs> what I'm curious is like you could obviously who are the installers. I wonder if the gentlemen in the suits are Secret Service. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe it's not the cast of characters for install. <laughs> They're yeah. just people making sure and no, no shenanigans. No, no, like, no, no drawers being open. No, can like, can you imagine like you're the workroom that's like, okay, today you're going to go install window treatments for the president? No, I can't. No, I would no. love to, but I can't. I know. <laughs> Like, how does one get that job? That's how, that's what I'm curious. That's what we really need to know, right? We'll do research for next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here we are with the second uh, Bush president, George W. Bush. And mm -hmm. here we are with a completely different style and a different color scheme altogether. Still the same desk, <laughs> but a different window treatment. So it's curious, why do they not change the desk, but change the drapes? Hmm. I think they actually have a choice as to which desk that they pick. So um, I think it's been the same desk throughout the um, all of these presidencies. If you look, no, his father yeah. had a different desk. Yeah, oh, did he? Okay, it's yeah, your, your and details. so did Never so did Richard Nixon. Um, like they all, they I think there's like three or four desks that they can pick from. And I wonder so, if there's like a big storage unit, storage warehouse yes, where they go around is. like, like this, don't like that. No, I think <laughs> Bring it's, this it's, in, it's, get this out. I think it's cataloged. I think it's cataloged and they're allowed well, to like. Of course it is. It's all yeah. digital now. What am I yeah. thinking? I mean. <laughs> yeah. No, what I thought was interesting about this, this is the first um, uh, Oval Office window treatment with a pattern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unlike everything else has been pretty solid. And the bottom, I kind of really like this bottom shape. It's very fluid, very yes. kind of feminine um, touch to it. I think I wonder if Laura Bush had anything to say about this window Probably. treatment. <laughs> Probably. But I thought this was nicely done. And yes. is this the first time that we have um, individual drape at every um, at every point on the window? Uh, we we had it with with Richard Nixon, except his were more stationary and tied back. Where this is feels right, a little bit more tailored. Back. Exactly. Yeah. Now another interesting thing here, we have the center panels as most likely two or two and a half widths, and we have the side panels as either one and a half or even one width. But clearly, and it's hard to know exactly how many widths. But what I see for sure is that there are different widths and mm -hmm. different fullnesses happening there. So I don't know about you, but this is something that we kind of always talk through and think through and, and kind of struggle with in terms of like, okay, what should we do? Yes. Um, when we work a, a bay window or a bow window mm -hmm. and it makes, so we just kind of always think about, should we make the center panels wider or narrower? Should they be the same as the outside panels, even though the wall space may be different at outside point versus inside point? Mm -hmm. And uh, I've always thought that they should be the same just for consistency and proportions. But listen, if uh, the presidential designer said that they shouldn't, then maybe they shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, especially if these these look like they could possibly be functional if they ever wanted to shut the window treatments. Um, I don't I don't quite recall what the protocol is if they have to, um, mm -hmm. you know, give the the ability to close. Mm -hmm. They would have to. I don't see any shears. I mean, they could have roller mm -hmm. shades or something up above the valve, uh, inside yeah. the valance. You don't think they did roller shades? No. For <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're popping like a solar screen and asking like, what percent openness do you want? That would be funny, right? <laughs> it would be. It would you be. know what? I think you're absolutely right. I think the center panels are, well, they, I think they're all functional and the no, center yeah. panels have to work both ways to the right window and to the left mm -hmm. window. So that's why they're yeah. wider. Interesting. Very nice. Yes. 
All okay. right. So go ahead. So here, now we have something completely different. So uh, President Obama here, he has wallpaper on the walls, which is something that um, is very different from the previous uh, uh, administrations. And here he has kind of just like a, a tailored kick pleat valances with you know, pleats on the side. So very streamlined, very structured, unlike the Kingston Valance. I'm surprised that his panels here are um, just breaking the floor and kind of, it's not puddling, but it has a pretty big break. These feel unlike the previous window treatments that feel that felt very tailored, mm -hmm. even though that the Valance is very tailored, the, the panels look a lot fuller here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm thinking. I I, th I think the center panels are also well. Both all four of them are also functional, just functional. like in the previous. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But interesting, the color scheme is completely different, right, than yeah. what we've seen previously. And I can't tell. Th these are more red in one of the previous pictures, and I think Reagan Oval Office. It was more yes. like aubergine, right? <laughs> How do you call that color? Yeah. Uh, whereas this is uh, clearly red. It's it's uh, like a tone on tone stripe. Um, and we do have some tailored aspects with it being a straight balance with kick pleats, but we also have some traditional aspects with that um, mm -hmm. jabot on the side. Not, not yes. a frou fruit, not a overly no. frou jabot, but uh, but definitely a jabot. Yeah, and yeah, the, pod the puddling just kills me. It's surpri like that surprises me. Like you know, given the year that that, you but again, it's that whole traditional sense. And here's another um, thing that I just realized here that. They did a tone on tone stripe on the fabric and then mm -hmm. a little bit more of not so much of a tone on tone stripe, but a striped wallpaper. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting to it's see a lot of stripes happening, a lot of stripes going on in this space, but very interesting to see um, how you can put pattern on pattern. Like well, we know that. We don't need Barack yeah. Obama to tell us that, right? We do it all the <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Hey. Thanks for joining us. All right, and here we are back to that beautiful, rich yellow color. Um, mm -hmm. This is President Trump, and we're back to the Kingston Valance. We're back to um, trim around the bottom of the valance. We're back to trim around the sides of the panels and the bottoms of the panels. And we're also back to that contrast of yellow and blue. Now, interestingly, there's very little or practically no blue in the rug. So the only blue and yellow is really just in the curtains. So there's right. not a whole lot of marriage happening between the curtains and the rest of the decor in the Oval Office. So, and because you, we had mentioned this off camera and I quickly just looked it up now, these and the picture that of uh, President Clinton's window treatments were being installed were in black and white. These are the same window treatments. So it, ah. it is, yes, it is. So they must have it all kind of cataloged where mm -hmm. they have it all, which I can't even imagine trying to store that, like all these balances and the boards and the panels and you know, it's it's the same window treatments from As the Clintons. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So one. Clinton had the Kingstons and then and then we took a break with Obama and then we went back to the Kingston with yes. with Donald Trump. Yeah, we took okay. we took a we took a break with, with George W. Bush and Obama oh, okay. and then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we yeah, go. Okay, so we have two presidencies. We had a break from Kingston's for two presidencies, and mm -hmm. now we're back. See, I'm telling you, the swags are back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, look, even <laughs> even Joe Biden, he's keeping the Kingston. I mean, yeah. there's nothing in common between him and, and Donald Trump, but, except for the window treatment. So yeah, maybe. <laughs> their, office, their offices are, they kept, he kept the office very similar. Um, they swap, he swapped out the rug, but, um, which now marries the blue trim to the blue to rug. The rug. So like, yeah, yeah exactly. it, just, it all just kind of, but the wallpaper stayed the same again. Um, uh, president Trump kept in with the wallpaper. They have more of a damask wallpaper there and, um, and whatnot, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's very, it's very interesting to see the different dynamics and the different things that, um, that they select and that they pick. For the what, what, I, what I'm seeing the uh, as a constant theme are beautiful window treatments, sometimes even the same style of the window treatments, and sometimes even just plain same window treatment. So even though the presidents may agree on nothing else, I think that the window treatments is the key to unity and world peace. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll stick with that. We'll go yeah. with that. <laughs> so of all these that you have seen, which one have been your favorite now that we've kind of gone all through them, even though three presidents all use the same window treatments, but... So I do like these. I do like the gold mm -hmm. Kingston a lot. I like the marriage of the blue and the yellow. That That is um, something that kind of speaks to me. I think the one I'm going to uh, click back. I think it's this one. It's George W. Bush, the second you know? Bush president. Yes, I think there's something very peaceful and I love the tailored part of it. You know, I mean, I kid around uh, around about the swags, of course. You know, it's good for business, but, you know, <laughs> all that cleaning and all that. So <laughs> I, I do like the tailored aspect of these. Um, I like the feminine um, bottom edge of the valance cornice and uh, and I like the color scheme here. Yeah, How I would have you? to say this is my favorite. Oh, good. Oh, we yeah. agree. How fun. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This one is actually my favorite as well. So that kudos to us. Yay. <laughs> See, again, I'm telling you, window treatments is, is how you bring people together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. The key to world peace. And we have Nikki joining us on Facebook. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. How are you? So Nikki is one of my students in the Luan University class, and she's been super uh, participative. Is that the word? <laughs> Active in participation, yes. we'll call it that. Um, asking great questions and just really being with it. So Nikki, you're being a wonderful, wonderful student. Yeah, sorry, I had a missed class yesterday, ladies. That's okay. That's all right. Well, you know what? You've heard all about Airtable before. Yes. So yes. it's all good. And Nikki is um, kind enough to uh, make a referral to, to you guys. She has a designer working in the Hamptons, so she's going to be making an introduction. Oh, cool. Very yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. know what? Let me know because I'll be in the Hamptons in two weeks. Well, there you go. <laughs> all right back to our presentation here we are oops doo -doo. okay so we are done bantering about presidential window treatment so we <laughs> just thought this was going to be a kind of a off kilter a little bit but still a fun episode and interesting uh walk down the memory lane mm -hmm. <laughs> of uh, the past president's uh, presidential window treatments in the Oval Office. But of course, before we let you go, we always tell you about the free gift that we have in store for you. And from us, from Vitalia Inc., there's a free lookbook. It's a curated um, lookbook filled with inspiration and education. We call it 37 and a half window treatment ideas for you to use, swipe, steal, and use immediately on your next design project. So if you head on over to vitaliainc.com, Com, you can sign up to receive it immediately in your inbox. Perfect. And if you are new to the window treatment game, um, Luann wrote an ebook, uh, Architectural Digest is Coming 10 Things You Need to Know About Custom Window Treatments. Um, it's basically like a Window Treatments 101. So head on over to the Window Works website and download your free copy today. Hmm. And if you are in the Philadelphia area, and are an interior designer looking for support in your window treatment game, Vitalia Inc., my company, is a one-stop shop where your go-to resource, a VIP level, concierge level, um, company exclusively for luxury interior designers ready to fly first class in the world of window treatments. So if you're looking for support, if you're looking to have for, uh, for someone to truly have your back and make you look like heroes in front of your clients, we would love to work with you. And if you are in the New York or New Jersey area and you have a window treatment or awning project, um, whether you are a designer or a retail client, we would love to help you figure out all those nudgy details because that is what we do best. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today uh, for this um, fun episode of Window Treatment Friday Live. And if uh, it's Friday... It is WTF Live. Join us here every Friday at 9 a.m. where Kim and I banter about all things window treatments. Yes. And next week's episode, um, if you are interested and you have any questions on this topic, is uh, motorized rippleful draperies. Cool. All right. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Bye.